We will now create our work experience section, which is this card that we see down here. We have the heading and then we have some similar boxes here with an icon, one more heading, a link, a date and a descriptive text. So let's jump right in to our code editor here and then we scroll down until we have the closing tag for our card. Then right after that, we create a new card. Just like so. We'll add an H2 heading element again with the classes card divider, H3 and align sender. Just like in the first card, this time the text will be work experience. Then we add the tag for the card section. Now we want to make use of the media object component. This is to position media, in this case an icon, next to some content, which is our heading, link and date. So we add a div tag with the class media object. Inside of this, we add a div tag with the class media object section. We can now create our icon inside of this by adding the i tag with the class FAB to select among the brand icons in Font Awesome. And this would be the Facebook icon. We want it to have a fixed width and to be three times as large. And we're now adding a custom class icon primary to give it a primary color. So to do that, we need to go up here in our style tag and we'll target the class icon primary that we just used and give it the color 1779BA. Let's save and scroll back down. And let's continue a bit, adding a new div, div tag with the class media object section and also the class main section. This is our main content. We add a H3 heading element, give it the class H4 to make it appear with a smaller font size. And we add the text frontend developer. Then let's take a look at the final project and see what we're going to do now. We're going to create a container using flex so that this will have justified alignment and in the middle. So there will be space in between. And if we resize our window, we can see that this is only true for medium device sizes and up. So initially, the link and date will stack on top of each other. So to do this, we'll add a div tag with the class medium flex container. So for medium device to send up, this will turn into a flex container. And then we'll align it justified by using the class align justify and align middle so it can be vertically centered as well. Now inside of this we'll add an H5 heading element. And inside of this we'll put an anchor tag and the text Facebook. And then for our date we'll add a small tag around it so it appears smaller. Then we'll use the time element for semantic reasons. So computers can read this as well. We have the date time attribute and give it the value 2017-01 and we re write it in a human readable way, January 2017 
close our time attribute. Then we want to create an in dash by using the HTML entity for that symbol. So this is like a dash symbol, but longer. Now let's just copy this code for our time, and paste it in again, change the value to 12 here and the month to December. Now we only need to add a description and we'll do that right outside of our media object. So that would be right here. We'll add the paragraph tag and now I'll just jump into the finished project, and copy some text, paste it in and close the P tag again. Now let's save this and go back and take a look. Scroll down. We can see that everything looks as expected initially. They stack on top of each other and we increase the browser size. It turns into one line. We can see that there's some spacing issues that we want to fix. So to do this, we need to add some custom class up here. We add the medium flex container and the H5 heading inside of that. We're gonna remove the margin bottom like so. So notice that this is the finished project with no margin bottom under the link. And right now we have the margin bottom, but when I refresh, we can see that it has successfully been removed. Now all we need to do is make all of these examples. So we'll do that. We'll first add a horizontal rule to create a divide between these positions, job positions. Now we'll paste this in and update some values. So position will be add director. The icon will be Apple, company name, Apple. We'll add another horizontal ruler and paste it in once again. Then we'll change the icon to Dropbox, position to user experience, designer, and the company to Dropbox. Add one more horizontal ruler and paste the code in again. Then we'll use the medium icon, change the position to copywriter and the company to medium. We'll add a horizontal rule again, paste the code in again. Then we'll use the Google icon Position will be search engine, consultant, and company will be Google. We have a final one here. Paste it in. Change the icon to Uber and position to AI engineer and the company to Uber. Now let's save this, go back and refresh. Now we can see that we have all of these positions, all the right job titles, icons, and company names. Great. So this was the work experience section.